Hello uh, and welcome to everybody. My name is Vibeke and um, I am a teacher to children with special needs and I'm a mother to three sons uh, and two of them is having both, both uh, ADHD and autism. So um, I have learned a lot through many years. Two of my sons are grown up now um, and I, will, uh, I would like to use five minutes to, uh, to share what I know and what I had to learn. The first and the most difficult thing for me was to learn the language. I, I couldn't just speak as I was used to do. Um, I used to use a lot of irony and slang. Um, uh, I could tell uh, children, oh how smart to play in the middle of the road, great job. And um, to me it was obvious that I didn't mend it. But, but to the children it wasn't. And um, and I had to I had to relearn how to think and how to talk, and uh, it wasn't easy. Um, but uh, I realized that that these children were were very had a very concrete um, uh, perception, and uh, and if I didn't spoke with concrete words, they wouldn't understand me. But instead, they would use so much time to think about what I meant. Um, I uh, sometimes I, I called the, the children names. I, I thought it was cute. I thought it was sweet. But but they were standing. Why do you call me that? That's not my name. Why do you do that? Uh, or I could um, I could tell them I'll be back in two minutes or two seconds. Two seconds. I'll be back in two seconds. And the kids watching their watches and said mm, one two no you weren't you're a liar you don't you shouldn't you shouldn't be helping me at all you're a liar and and i thought they were mm, crazy come on don't you uh, don't you know that i i couldn't do that in two seconds but no because you told me it would take two seconds and i believed you so now you lie you lied to me um I, the first year I worked with these pupils, I I thought it was like um, being in the school myself every day. Every day I came home, I said, oh, I did it again. Oh, man, why couldn't I do it the right way, say it the right way? Um, but but I learned it. And I actually learned it so much that, that when my kids uh, came home and used the slang, I said, what? Say, like, oh man, how crazy are you? I'm not crazy. Ah, that's not what I meant. I meant, and so on, because I suddenly had a had a, a perception telling me that everything was as people said they were. Uh, the thing we had to understand is that many people with autism doesn't look at what happens in your face. They doesn't they they doesn't recognize your smile. Or if you're angry looking, they don't hear the tone of your voice if you are yelling or if you're whispering. So so the word, I love you, I love you, it's the same. Because they don't see my eyes are rolling and they don't see, uh, don't hear my voice is, is um, uh, have angry la sound or a happy sound. They just hear the word, I love you. So, so I had to... Um, I had to rethink a lot of things uh, and I had to explain myself to them. Say, this is for fun. I'm so angry with you. Um, or I could say, now I am angry. I am angry now because you're doing the opposite of what I told you to do. Now I'm getting angry. But if you do what I, what I told you to, I'll be happy again. I had to explain myself. I had to realize that they didn't see my face and they didn't hear my tone. I had to be very, very careful, carefully with my words. Um, and uh, that is uh, the lesson I will teach you today. Be careful with your words. Think about what you say. And, and uh, if you use sarcasm or irony or something like that, explain it. This is for fun. This I don't mean. Do you understand it? Check a check. Do they understand it? Because it's good to learn. But it's hard if you 
every time a people a person tell you something had to think is he serious is it for fun is he angry or what so we can help them a lot if we uh, speak out exactly what we mean or explain it if you don't hello from me